As the curtain falls on the clay in Paris, the world of tennis looks to the lawns. June on the ATP World Tour and it's time for the grass court swing. Made up of seven tournaments over six weeks, this is a very special time of the season. It all kicks off with two ATP World Tour 250 tournaments in Germany and the Netherlands. The Mercedes Cup in Stuttgart helped start the grass court swing for the first time in 2015 after switching from clay. Last time out, Rafael Nadal took the crown. Rafael Nadal. It's important to have victory, it's important to have titles for the confidence, for the calm, for everything. You know, so that's a lot of positive energy to keep going. Meanwhile, over in Hertogenbosch, the Rico Open sees some of the finest grass quarters gather in the Netherlands. This year, they'll all be hoping to follow in the footsteps of two-time champion Nicola Maou. <laughs> I did it twice. I mean, from the qualities, winning, winning the tournament for the second time is just something unbelievable. I couldn't expect something like that before this week. Week two of the grass court swing and a double dose of ATP World Tour 500 tournaments in London and Halle. The historic Queen's Club stages the Aegon Championships, which always attracts a stellar field. 2015 winner Andy Murray will be amongst the contenders this year. Victory for Murray, and thoroughly deserved. He's the champion here at the Queen's Club for the fourth time in his career. I always enjoy coming back, and it's the perfect tournament to prepare for Wimbledon. The courts are, I mean, this year they were, I think, better than, than usual, and normally they're, they're fantastic. So it was a very good week, and nice to finish it with the win. Andy Murray. At the same time, Germany hosts another top draw grass court event, the Gary Weber Open. 2015 saw history made as Roger Federer lifted the trophy in Halle. Roger Federer, Federer is Federer. Gary Weber Open champion for a record eighth time. An 86th singles title for the mighty Swiss. You know how much hard work it is to win a title and to keep on going. I don't know what year I won here for the first time, maybe in 2003, so this is like... 12 years later, you know, I'm still able to do it against the younger players that are coming up, so it just probably tastes a bit sweeter because of that reason. Back in Britain the following week, and Nottingham takes centre stage. The Aegon Open Nottingham returned to the ATP World Tour calendar last season, where it proved a happy hunting ground for Dennis Istomin, the scene of his maiden tour-level title. Game, set and match. Estimate. I'm so happy and I hope it's first and not last one, so <laughs> thanks again and I'm looking forward to come back next year as well. Thank you. Next up, it's the ultimate postcode in tennis, SW19. It's time for Wimbledon. The All England Lawn Tennis Club, truly one of the most magical places on the calendar. Home to the third Grand Slam of the season and so much tradition and history. Novak Djokovic was crowned champion for a second time in 2015 and could well be the man to beat once again. Hopefully I'll be able to continue playing in this, this high level, uh, keep the consistency and that's something I look forward to in the second part of the season. But first things first, I need to enjoy this victory, enjoy this uh, great six, seven months of the year that went unbelievable for me and it's necessary now to get some rest and time with the family. And finally, it's on to Newport for the last grass court event of the season. The Hall of Fame Tennis Championships provides a fitting finish to the swing in an idyllic Rhode Island setting. Rajiv Ram came out on top last year. If only every week were Newport for Rajiv Ram. Two career titles, both right here. Looking back at the best performers on grass over the past 52 weeks, it's Novak Djokovic who tops the win-loss table, with impressive stats for some of the other winners from last year's swing. 
Seven different champions crowned at seven different tournaments. It was a truly special spell on the lawns in 2015. All signs point to another scintillating grass court swing in 2016. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, all change as we welcome the grass surface of Stuttgart. And the resurgence of Marcus Bagdatis, the Cypriot still fighting at 30. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, powered by Vixlet, and on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. See you next week.